What is up, YouTube? Let's see, it's Puddles A1 here, and I'm bringing you another showdown live, and this time we got a UU um, with uh, th this team that I stole straight from a link that Leo gave me. You can't really see it down here, kind of, but um, we're going to go over the team preview anyway. Uh, it's going to be like the first time that I really even looked at the team. I, I used the team once immediately as I saw the link, and uh, I haven't used it since, so here we are. Now we got the Porygon uh, Z with the Lumberry and Double Dance, Adaptability, Tri-Attack, Shadow Ball. That hits everything it hits steel types and steel don't resist shadow ball anymore um the i or the evs on this thing are kind of strange but i i assume that they can outspeed everything after an agility um then we have the victini choice banded i'm i'm so excited to use choice banded victini it packs so much of a punch i know in the test that i did like i i only battled once with this team but it took out a uh, an umbreon with a v create and it was at like 94 or something i know it's not max hp but it is it is some damage, guys, let me tell you. And then we have the uh, the Starmie here with Life Orb. It's our Rapid Spinner. Um, it's pretty good. I like Starmie in general. Uh, it's very quick, very uh, strong, and it also gets access to Rapid Spin, which is really nice. And it can deal with a lot of uh, spinners and defoggers and uh, blockers and such like that with the, uh, the Bolt Beam combination and also Scald to burn things. And then we have Flygon, which is Choice Scarfed, which I guess is a kind of nice bluff uh, with Victini that this could be um, like a support set with defog and then this could be a uh, straight offensive and then or this could be choice banded and this could be scarf you know it just it just it leaves a lot open for interpretation and i'm kind of excited to use this too um i haven't used flygon in a long time since like really early gen 5 so i'm pretty excited to use a flygon then we have the mega agron with heavy slam earthquake stealth rock and roar um looks like it's specially defensive with speed investment uh i guess to outspeed other mega agron i'm not entirely sure but that's you know that's pretty cool uh, i can dig it we have an adamant nature, interesting, with uh, no defense investment, which you really don't need, and no, and well, in special defense investment, but no uh, careful nature. And something I like about uh, Mega Agron and regular Agron, Mega Agron's base defense is 100 points higher than regular Agron's defense, which I just think is fun fact. Fun fact of the day. And then we have uh, Life Orb Honchkrow, which I personally like running Sub Roost. But that's just me, and that was in 5th gen, so I don't know how well that would do this gen. But this looks like a pretty cool set. Brave Bird, Sucker Punch, Pursuit, and Superpower um, with an adamant nature. This is a kind of slow team, uh, barring Flygon and Starmie. So let's just see how we can do. I'm going to go ahead and click a battle. Pretty sure I haven't gotten a uh, UU battle on this account, so we're starting straight from the bottom and see what we can do. Uh, looking at this guy's team, he's either got the Mega Agron or he's got the Mega Absol. I'm assuming he has Mega Absol. And I don't know who I'm going to lead with, so I think I'm going to want to lead with Flygon. I think I'm okay if I reveal Scarf now, but I think I'm just going to lead off with Flygon. As he leads off with the Agron, and now we can see if he is, uh, if he's Mega Agron or not. I know this guy doesn't have a spinner. Nope, doesn't. He's, he, oh, he's on the balloon. I didn't see that. That's my mistake. And uh, I will U-turn out into my own Agron. As he's more than likely just going to go for rocks, as he does. Sorry, I clicked the, the skip the skip button a lot. So we're going to click that Mega Evolution. And then I will go for Stealth Rock. Because he, he isn't Mega Evolved with his, uh, his Absol yet. So he goes for a Earthquake of his own. My Earthquake will be times 4 super effective. And uh, I am adamant with 281 attack. And Head Smash doesn't do anything. And he takes a lot from that. Good God, that's awesome. So he switches out into Tropius. Not a big deal. Not too sure what a Tropius can do to me. It's probably it's honestly gonna go for fly. That's what I'm thinking it's gonna do. I'm gonna go for roar. Um predicting like a leech seed. Yeah, he goes for leech seed. And we will just roar him out into what? Into Agron, not bad. He'll he'll get some HP back, but that's fine. Let's see. I'm just gonna go for an earthquake. Yeah. As he what dies he just dies cool so i don't really need agron anymore because his agron's gone tropius is in here um i think i'm going to see i don't know if i go i don't want to go out and start me and have him go for a uh well you know what i don't need this anymore what does this handle oh i guess it handles florges who don't i need i don't need it doesn't look like i need porygon z do I need Starmie, actually? I'm just going to switch into Starmie. Whatever. I'm assuming that Tropius can't take me out. And if it goes for, like, Solar Beam or something silly like that, um, I have the Ice Beam. He goes for Energy Ball. I live it. Not bad. 
and I'm going to go, I outspeed his team, so I'm going to go for the Ice Beam and then the Rapid Spin, so we'll just do it like that. See what he wants to do. I don't really care about losing Starmie. Starmie's not going to do too much of anything in this battle. Ice Beam takes out the Tropius, and unless he has Extreme Speed on his Arcanine, uh, I'm going to be able to get these rocks away, so. But I don't think he's going to bring in an, Arcan an Arcanine on a, uh, okay, cool, he just brings in the Absol. Probably going to go for the Sucker Punch. I'm just going to go for Rapid Spin. Let's see what he does. And he does just go for Sucker Punch. Fine by me. Because I can go out into Aggron, I think. Do I want to go out into Aggron? Ooh, who do I go out into now? This is bad. This is not cool. Um, let's just go Flygon. And I'll go for Earthquake. Because I'm guessing that he can't take an Earthquake. And nothing on his team can really take an Earthquake. So we'll just click Earthquake. If he wants to go for Sucker Punch, he's probably going to die. Because I know Mega... Or not... Yeah, Mega... Absol does not have the best defenses at all. I think they're like base 60 or something. Uh, I'd look it up, but I don't want to. As he stays in and he goes for play rough, probably. Um, thinking he can outspeed, but he can't. I'm scarfed. He goes into Florgis. And I have the Mega Aggron. Oh, sorry. Sorry. He goes for Moonblast. It does 16%. He's probably going to take me out with this one. So I'll go for a Heavy Slam. But I am, I am more than certain... That I can take him out with a, a V create from this range. Did his? Oh, I haven't seen Arcanine yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, he doesn't. It doesn't look like he has much of anything that can handle a hit from some stuff. So actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go out to Victini. And depending on what he wants to, do, I think I'm going to go for the U turn. And then I'll play accordingly, I guess. Do I want to do that? No, I'm just going to go straight for the V create. As he goes for Protect, he sees I locked myself into V-Create. Um, I'm just going to go for it again. As he just stays in and dies. Yep, that is Choice Banded Victini, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, that floor just is out of here. Excuse me while I take a drink out of my nice pink water bottle that I got. <sighs> Not bad. Um... I honestly think that Haunch Crow is the next thing that I need to fodder off. Excuse me. I, I honestly think so. Because if he's going to go for Scald, I don't want to switch into my... I do have a Lumberry on my Porygon Z, but I don't want to switch it in. Um, just in case. Okay, see, he does get the burn here. But I don't want to switch it in uh, and have it take a lot of damage. Because I need that thing um, to hit this thing specially. So I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch here. Get as much damage off as I can. As he's more than likely just going to kill me. Oh, Wow! 45% after being burned? Oh my lord. That is ridiculous. So now I can go out into Porygon Z. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an Agility or two Shadow Balls. I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball. Uh, Slowbro lives on two. And goes for Slack Off. Then... He's going to go for another Shadow Ball. If he goes for Scald and burns me, I got the Lumberry. And if he switches out... Okay, he lives on four. Is he going to Slack Off again? Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to click that nasty plot button as he's more than likely going to slack off again. And now Shadow Ball should be doing a little bit more. And I can take him out if he does, in fact, go for the uh, the whatever move. Oh, take him out. One hit. <laughs> not, not even bad. How much was were my Shadow Balls doing? 53%. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, I, I win this one. I can go for a Tri-Attack. And I outsped. So that's the game. GG. Send that to him. And yeah, that was my first game. And here we go. Next battle. Next let's just exit out of that one. Click another battle. And we'll see where we can where we can get this this uh, account right now. Really liking this team. I hope I didn't misplay. If you guys notice any misplays, please let me know. Just feel free to let me know. I really don't care. Uh looking at this team. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. So looks like Mega Agron's gonna be a very big part of my life right now so what I think I'm gonna do is lead star me I think maybe or lead mega agron lead flygon oh god I don't know uh, I don't know who to lead off with here I think I'm just gonna lead off with flygon you turn out on whatever he wants to bring in and then probably just bring in Victini as he also leads out with the flygon um I could easily just go for the Dragon Claw here. 
which is, I think, what I'm going to do. Because I don't know if he's going to stay in. I'm just going to go for Dragon Claw. As he stays in and I get him down to one, he goes for the U-turn. So if I get rocks up, that Flygon's gone. And that would be super duper helpful. Um, he gets a crit on that U-turn, which is really unfortunate. Sorry, I keep hitting that skip button. Um, if I get my rocks up, then that Flygon dies. I don't know if that's Scarfed or if I won the speed tie. Or I don't know if that's not Scarfed or if I won the speed tie. So, um, Come on, dude. What, what are we going out into? Goes out into the fortress. Um, hmm. I'm gonna. I choose to go out into my Mega Aggron now, as he's more than likely just gonna go for some rocks, and then I can Mega Evolve and go for my own rocks. Then switch out into Starmie, hit him up with a Scald, Rapid Spin on the switch. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock, as he's probably gonna go for Spikes or something. He goes for the Volt Switch. Okay, cool. So, now my rocks are up. If he brings in his fortress, uh, he loses his sturdy. He brings in the bronze on. Um, don't know what he's going to do. Don't know what he has to hit me. Did, did he, he went for Volt Switch. I don't know what a bronze on can do, honestly, but I know I can spin away my rocks with my Starmie and possibly get a burn on something. So, I'm just going to do that, bring in my Starmie. As he goes for Hypnosis. Okay. <laughs> I'll just go for Rapid Spin here. As he stays in, goes for Light Screen. So he's obviously uh, Light Clay. So he's pro he's actually probably going to set up the uh, the Sharpedo right now. And lose lose the rocks and lose some HP. That's unfortunate, but I'm going to go for the Scald, trying to get the Burn. Please, Burn. Yes, yeah, not bad. As he's going to go for Hypnosis. And he hits again? What is this game? <laughs> Okay, cool. So, uh, go for the Thunderbolt here as he switches out into the Fortress. Okay, he goes out into the Fortress. That's fine. And he doesn't have uh, whatever. So, I'm going to go for Skull, try and burn this thing. As I wake up, please give me the burn. Please. No burn. That's fine. As he goes for the Rapid Spin, I'm going to go for a Scald. Try and burn this Fortress. If I can burn it, it can never have Sturdy again. And I'm not burning it as he's going to take me out. Oh, I live. Whew, thank God. Okay, cool. And he goes out into Flygon. Let I don't want to see if his Flygon's scarfed. But if it is, I can deal with it at that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for Ice Beam. No, we're going to go for Scald. Let's just go straight for Scald. As he is scarfed. Okay, good. Now we know that it's scarfed. And now we can get the Switch Initiative on whatever he brings in. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good right now. Um... I don't know, when did he set up screens? Turn 5. Okay, so this camera up's on the balloon, which is cool, I guess. Um, I don't know what camera up's base stats are, but I know I can pop the balloon and make him go for earth power. So I'm going to do that. Or earthquake, whichever one comes first. Pop the balloon, go out into Flygon. He knows I'm scarfed. So he might think that that's also Scarfed, as he does go for the Earth Power. Not bad. And now... Oh, his Light Screen wore off, which is really nice. I'm going to go for the U-Turn, predicting him to switch out. As he brings in the Bronze Song, so this has Levitate, which is really nice to know. And now I can bring in Victini and just click Flare Blitz. Or I can bring in Honch Crow. Go for Pursuit and possibly take it out. Actually, I think I'm going to go on to PZ. And... Um... And set, I can set up an agility, because I have the Lumberry. And if he misses the Hypnosis, please. Oh, he just goes for Light Screen. That's fine. I can take this thing out, so I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. Yeah, I don't want him to set up the other one. I'm just going for the Shadow Ball and take it out. It lived? Oh, my lord. That's fine. He goes for Hypnosis, hits me, and I get my Lumberry. Probably should have went for the, uh, the Nasty Plot there, but that's fine. That would have been the better play, because then I would have been at plus two, plus two. And then that light screen wouldn't have been that big of a deal. As he goes out into the Flygon, I am pretty sure he's going to outspeed me, but go for the Shadow Ball. I outspeed. Thank God. Take it out. Not bad. So that thing's gone. That thing is no longer a problem. So cool. Not not even bad. Um, what can he go out into now? Weezing? Weezing's probably not going to take a Shadow Ball or a Tri Attack. The thing is, I don't know which one to go for. I don't, I don't think Poison resists normal, so I'm just going to go for... Try attack. Get a crit. Nice 77%. As he goes for Sludge Wave, I'm living. 
And he has nothing to switch in. So I can take out this Weezing. He's wasting his own light screen turns, which I really don't agree with. He probably should have went out into one of these bulkier guys. That Fortress is not taking a hit, good sir. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, he's probably got the cut sap berry explosion. That would be really unfortunate. Or maybe not. I don't know what he would have on it. Maybe Quick Claw. Because we are low on the ladder, so you never know. As I go for the try attack and just take him out. Okay, cool. So PZ is putting in that work. And pause. Why are so many people running hypnosis? I have never seen so many people run hypnosis in my entire life. So he's, I'm pretty sure that his light screen dies now. Please? No, it's still alive, but I can go for try attack. And it's, and what's my, oh my god, that did so much damage. He goes for waterfall, he's going to take me out, he gets a crit. My aggron is at, oh, he's life orb, so, um, yeah, light screen wears off. And what is this at? This is at 89%, so I can easily just go out into my aggron. And I think what I'm going to do is actually set up my rocks, just so I can weaken those things when they come in. This is not a balloon anymore, so I'm pretty sure I got the game. Um, yeah, super late game, rocks. Crit. And he goes for earthquake, kills himself off, I get my rocks up. Now he has to go into, or he can go out into wheezing. He must have the flamethrower then. Um, uh, if I live, I'm just going to go for roar. He goes for Fire Blast, doesn't take me out. And this thing dies when it comes in, so... I'm free to go for Earthquake. And I'll go... Or not this Earthquake, but... Oh, wow, there's three Pokemon on this team that have Earthquake, so... Not even bad. Three? Can I do math? <laughs> there's two. Um, I, I'm going to go out into the Flygon and click Earthquake. Um, yeah, just quick earth, click Earthquake. And destroy this man's life. And the Weezing dies when it comes in, so... GG. Alright, not bad. This seems fun. I like this team. <laughs> Alright, next battle. Let's see let's see if we can get a um know, well let's see if we can get another battle. We are not doing that bad on time here. Okay, so uh this this might have defog. Uh, well I don't know if my mouse is gonna be moving. But this Braviary might have defog. Um not entirely sure. He set the timer on me already. Uh I can usually just lead off with Agron and uh <laughs> just go for a stealth rock as he leads off with his Epstrika. Probably got the overheat. It won't kill me. I can easily just go for this and Stealth Rock. So, not really feeling fearing too much of anything. He's got three pokes weak to rock, so I'm really guessing that this Braviary has um, has the defog. As he's probably he's either gonna go for the overheat or the volt switch out. And if he volt switches out, that's probably the better play. If he goes for overheat, um, he may just lose this thing. And he does go for the overheat. That does way too much damage. Um, but he loses half, so I'm thinking I actually might even be able to live another overheat, but seeing as how he did that, I think I'm going to go out into Victini, resist it, and then, what, do I need to save this Aggron though? I don't know, it'd be nice to have, I guess, for nothing. I'll just go out into Victini, resist the overheat, if he goes for Volt Switch, that's also fine, because I can U-turn out on something, he goes for overheat, does a nice 13%. And I'm going to go for Bolt Strike. I know he's not staying in. I'm going to go for Bolt Strike, predicting the Aloma Mola. See how much that does, because I am Choice Banded. So. Um, oh, he goes out into this thing. Don't know why he did that, but that's going to take 56%. And I'm going to go for another Bolt Strike. See if he switches out into the Zeb Striker. Oh, he goes out into a Loma Mola to take the Bolt Strike as I go for it again. Nice 62%. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Bolt Strike. I don't have much of anything to fear as he goes out into... There we go. There's his Zeb Striker. Not bad. And he's got Lightning Rod, so I can handle that. I'm going to fodder off Mega Aggron now. And Thunderbolt happens. Cool. So I'm pretty sure that he's locked in on Thunderbolt. I'm going to go out on my Flygon, and I can click Earthquake. Or should I go Dragon Claw? Maybe I'll go nice middle ground and hit U-turn. Um, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake because he sent. He's freaking sent in his his uh, Cling Clang last time, so I'm doubt. I doubt. Highly doubt that he's going out into the Braviary now. So we'll just see. What's this guy's name? 
L L O L L. That's fine. Ugh, come on, man. Make a move. I feel like I can play obvious with this team just because uh, the offensive pressure that it has. He goes out into the uh, Beedrill and that just dies to an earthquake. And now he's more than likely going to go out into the Braviary. He might think that my Victini scarfed since I led with it. No, I didn't lead with it. I lied. He brings in this thing. Probably going to go for a Toxic. Let's go out into Starmie. That way I can Thunderbolt. I can Scald, whatever. He goes for the Wish. I don't know if he's going to try and pass that off, but I'll go for... I'm going to go for Scald. Trying to, trying to get a burn. Please. Why'd he stay in and not protect? Okay, he... he oh, my lord. That's fine. Guess I'll just go for a... I don't know what this is going to do to me. I'm going to go for another Scald. I have no idea what he's going to do. Can I get a burn, please? Nope, guess not. As he goes for Scald of his own. And now I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. Because I don't need this Starmie. And I take out the... Okay. I don't know why that died. I don't know what kind of set that was that it dies to Life Orb Starmie. Um, he goes onto this thing, though. And he's more than likely just going to go for the Volt Switch or a Thunder Move. <laughs> a Thunder Move? An Electric Move in general. So I can... Oh, he goes for the HP Ice. Not a bad play. Nice prediction on his part. And that means... Um, what? <laughs> How does he think it's GG? Um, he went for the HP Ice. So, let's see. Should I go... What? What? I don't get it. I don't get why he thinks it's GG. Gonna go on to Victini, and I guess I can just click V Create. Um, I don't know what I, can, what I, what I should do here. I can save I, Once this is whittled down, I can go for Sucker Punch to take it out. So, we're going to go with Victini on this one. Yeah, we'll go with Victini. And then we will click V Create and destroy something that comes in. He's not staying in because he lo he's locked in on Hidden Power Ice. So, go for the V Create. As he brings in Entei. Entei's not taking a V Create, it, sir. Oh, wow, that did damage. So... I'm at minus one a lot of things. So I think what I'm going to do here is fodder off Starmie, since I don't need it. As he goes for Stone Edge. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's leftovers too, so that's even better. Now I'm going to go out into... Let's go right back out into Victini. And I will click V Create. And I shut out Speed. Well, we'll find out, won't we? And I take it out. Not bad. So, let's see. If he brings in the Kling Clang, I should be able to take it out. If he brings in Braviary, I'll switch out into PZ. And then, just go from there. I don't really have much of anything to fear. He brings in this thing. I will switch out into PZ as he's more than likely going to go for the Volt Switch or the Thunderbolt. Either one of those I can deal with. Thunderbolt does nice damage. That's not even bad. And I'll go for a Tri-Attack. As he stays in. And I'm going to go out into Honchkrow. And then I can just click Sucker Punch. And I don't have anything to fear. Sucker Punch. And dead. And now, now it's pretty much GG. Because <laughs> if he brings in Kling Clang, I can, uh, yeah, I can take that thing out with a superpower. Hopefully I can take that thing out with a superpower. I'm at plus one. I would assume that I can. And I do. And I lose my attack. And then I lose the defense. But I also gain some attack. So, I'm back to neutral. And, wait, is that how that goes? Oh, no, I'm at plus one. Okay, so he has to go for a, a, an attacking move as Sucker Punch takes him out. GG. Loser. Good God. Okay, well, uh, let's get one more game. Ha! He thought he was going to win that one. One more game. Or, yeah, let's get one more game. Why not? I don't care. Let's see. Let's see what we got. All right, here's some UU. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll lead off Mega Aggron and see what he wants to lead off with. I'll bring in the Mega Blastoise as he brings in Blastoise right now. Um, he's probably going to go for Aura Sphere, so I'm actually just going to Mega Evolve and go for Roar. Because I feel like I can take one Aura Sphere, and we'll see. I do. I take one. I'll go for Roar. 
see what I can roar him out into and then go for rocks. As I roar him out into the Gastrodon, which is not bad. I don't have a grass type move. That'd be really nice. Go for the rocks. See what he wants to go for. As he goes for Earth Power, takes me out. Good. Now, now, my friends, I think what I want to do is go into PZ, set up an agility early, and see what I can hit hard with. Hit hard. See what I can hit hard. Um, so I think that's actually going to be the game plan. So he probably can't take me out with any one hit. So, or should I go for Nasty Plot? Um, I'm going to go for Agility, as he's probably going to go for the Earth Power or something. He goes for Scald. Doesn't burn me. Okay, cool. He doesn't burn me. I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack. Hopefully, I can do something to him. Oh, nice 55%. And if he burns me, that's fine. I have Lumberry. So, that's fine. Now, let's see. I outspeed everything. If you go out in the Chandelure, you die. Okay, cool. So Gastrodon is no longer a problem. That was honestly the biggest threat to my team. <laughs> I had nothing for it. Now the biggest threat is going to be that Umbreon. So got to watch out for Umbreon. I do have choice banded U-turns and such. This probably cannot speed me. And I'm going to go for a nice tri-attack and destroy its life. Oh, my lord. God, double dance PZ. I've always wanted to try it, but I honestly could never do it. I, I never got it. Like, I never, I never got it to work. I have Shadow Ball. I can take you out. Um, yeah, he has nothing to take these hits. He, he should have went out into the Umbreon by now. I don't know why he hasn't. He's foddering off. Oh, my lord, it lived. <laughs> but I get the special defense drop. As he goes for Flamethrower, he's just going to take me out. So, he is forced to stay in here. Um, I'm Scarfed. I outspeed. And I can easily just go for a U-turn out into... My Victini, that's unfortunate. Man, I really wish I could have taken that out. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just U-turn out into Victini, see what he goes out into, and then we'll play accordingly. So, U-turn. U-turn should take this out. Am I mad? I'm not mad. Are you mad? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it lived! Oh, my lord! Okay, so now we got to go out into Starmie, as he's probably going to go for the Flamethrower again. He goes for Shadow Ball, takes me out. Not a bad play. Not a bad play at all. And go right back out into this thing. Go for another U-turn. And then this time, what I think we're going to do is U-turn. No, we're just going to U-turn on to Victini. Because um, I'm still kind of worried about this Blastoise. And he's more than likely going to go for the Scald with it. I'm guessing he's offensive since I saw Ore Sphere. And uh, I'm going to take a drink out of my water bottle. Probably should have went for Dragon Claw with my with my Flygon, forced him to bring this thing in. But I do need my Flygon for this Umbreon and the Dusclops, because these two Pokemon can still win him the battle. As he goes out into the Umbreon, my good man, <laughs> you're not living a V Create. I promise you. <laughs> it just dies. Okay, cool. So now he has to go out into Blastoise and go for Scald, and since I know that he more than likely has no attacking moves, or no non-attacking moves, I can go out into my Haunch Crow and hopefully hit him up with a Sucker Punch and do loads of damage to the point where Dragon Claw or Earthquake can take it out. Or even a uh, Choice Bandit hit. As he goes for Scald, please don't get the burn. Oh, of course. <laughs> Not bad. That's fine. Um, Sucker Punch, you'll still do a lot of damage. Honchcrow. I really like Honchcrow, to be honest with you guys. Oh, he failed. What'd he go for? Rain Dance? That's fine. Go for Rain Dance again, good sir. I'm okay with it. Actually, let's go for Brave Bird. And a nice 34%. As I die, we'll see what he went for. He went for Rain Dance again. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go on to Victini, and I'm going to click Bolt Strike. Because I am Choice Banded. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see how much this does. Because I'm Choice Bandit. I want to know. I'm eager. I'm eager to know. So let's see. We got... Oh, my lord, it dies. <laughs> so 
So we got one, two, three. This is the third turn of rain. Um, he goes on to this thing. He found out that I'm choice banded. He doesn't have pressure. I'm just going to go for bolt strike. Because, like I said, I'm choice banded. And if he goes for toxic or anything, if he has willow, then I'm fine. I can just stall out rain, and if I need to, I can switch back into Victini, go for a choice banded V-create and take him out. I'm really not worried about too much of anything right now. Oh, I missed my bolt strike. I'm worried about that. He goes for skill swap. What? Wait. What? <laughs> what? What is bolt? I don't know bolt strike's accuracy. 85? Okay, so I have Frisk now, and he can't miss moves. That's fine. I'm still choice banded. 38%. That's not bad. He goes for Nightshade. Oh, okay. Um, so the rain stops. I'm going to go on to Flygon now. And I'm pretty sure I got my skill back. Is he, is he still... He's... Okay, he goes for Nightshade. And I'm just going to go for Outrage. And I'm pretty sure the game is mine. And unless he goes for, like... What's he go for? He just goes for Nightshade. Yep, I win. The game is mine. We'll go for GG. He played kind of weirdly around um, the, the, the what's that called? The Porygon Z, so make a move. There we go, GG. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that puts me at, um, I think I'm 4-0 now with this UU team. God dang, that's good. Um, okay, I guess he's not going to say GG. That's fine, goofing monkey. What a jerk. We're going to look at the team, and we're going to do um, the MVP of this and uh, how I feel about it. A little review, if you will. So we'll start from the end. We'll go Honchcrow. Looking at Honchcrow, um, how many have, games have I played? Have I played four? I think I played four. Um, last two games, I know Honchcrow put in work. The very the third game, I know Honchcrow um, got me the win with the Sucker Punch and then the uh, Super Power and then the Sucker Punch again. So Honchcrow, very good Pokemon this generation. Very nice set. Um, since this isn't mine, I'm going to do a little review over it. Uh, I really do, in fact, like the... Um, like the fact that it's adamant uh, over Jolly. I know when I was trying to make a UU team, I wanted to use Honchkrow. Um, but the problem I had was I wanted it to outspeed things, but I also wanted it to pack a punch. And I didn't know how to make it happen without making it adamant. And uh, making it adamant really hinders it a lot. Um, looking particularly at uh, fairy types in general. Oh, my phone went off. I don't know if you guys could hear that. But yeah, um, Life Orb is what, what it definitely needs to pack at the punch. So if you wanted to make a Jolly, let's just see what its attacks that would be. Its attacks that would be three, 349, so it drops uh, 34? 34 points, I think it was. Um, right? Let's see, 349, and then this is 383. So yeah, 34 points. And so then his speed only goes up by 24 points. So I guess it's not even that big of a difference. So definitely run Adamant. Um, Life Orb, give it that extra boost that it needs. It doesn't need Roost. Um, OU, or not OU, but UU is very stally. So using Roost on offensive Pokemon or Recover is probably not a good move at this point. Just because everything's so stally. One Roost or one Recover could cause your opponent to also go for a recovery move and get all their HP back. And then you'll have that much of a harder time getting through that Pokemon when you could just run Life Orb and tear through a team. Um, so Honchkrow, I like it. It did good. Um, the second and this game, or the, thir the third in this game, it did, uh, it did what it needed to do. Even after being burned twice, it did what it needed to do. That was freaking ridiculous, my god. Oh my lord, that thing packs a huge punch. So Mega Aggron, uh, never, I didn't get to use Heavy Slam in this demonstration. Last time I played, I got to use Heavy Slam. Um, I do like how this is set up because it, it does give it um, enough attack to the point where it does a lot of damage to things. And then um, it has enough bulk to take Aura Spheres. It has enough bulk to take what I'm guessing was Choice Specs Overheats. Um, I don't know if he was uh, Scarfed or not. I, I didn't really test for that. Um, but he did make it, that one guy, Game 3, made a good prediction with the, uh, the Flygon coming in. So... Proud of him. Glad he had the HP Ice over the HP Grass, but I probably would have put HP Grass over it, but that's just me. Um, looking at this Aggron, it didn't do too much work. It went for Stealth Rock and Roar a couple times, Earthquake to kill another Aggron off, but um, I do like this set. I like the EVs. Um, they work pretty well. I like it. All in all, I like it. It didn't outspeed uh, the other Aggron, but I think that's because Mega Aggron's base speed dropped, or maybe that guy was running Offensive Aggron. But yeah, um, if I would change anything on this, Maybe I would change Heavy Slam, uh, just because you don't often get a chance to switch into a fairy and then go for it. You'd have to fodder off one of your 
offensive minds and then switch into this thing and then go for heavy slam. So maybe change heavy slam for Thunder Wave or something to slow down a uh, faster Pokemon that comes in. Or maybe even, I don't know, but maybe another move. I don't know about heavy slam. And we'll look at Flygon. Choice, choice Scarf Flygon. I definitely can see this thing doing a lot more work now that um, a lot of things are leaving UU. I know they're testing a lot of things. I'm pretty sure Sal Salamence is gone, and I think um, Thunderous T is also gone. Um, that was more recent, ban. Uh, I know they're bringing things down to test them and whatnot, but this thing definitely puts in the work. Uh, choice Scarf. It's It's been running Choice Scarf for as long as I can remember. Uh, I came in early 5th gen. Uh, like black and white 5th gen, like the beginning of black and white 5th gen. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was running Scarf 4th gen, and uh, it, it's always going to be a good set. Um, but with fairies being a thing now, I don't know if this gets access to a steel move. Definitely don't run Iron Tail if it can, uh, but you should just run standard set. Uh, don't know why, I guess four special defense EVs is where you can put them, but you know, you can put them anywhere. Um, I like it. it, it definitely put in a lot of work. Uh, it's a good Pokemon. If you if you guys need a decent wall breaker, I know this isn't like wall breaker material, but it is fast, it is strong, um, and it is a dragon type, so it can switch in on a lot of Pokemon. Um, and it does have levitate, so if you got if your team needs that, uh, looking at Starmie, I honestly don't know how to judge Starmie at this point, just because of that uh, Alomomola. It didn't seem like it should have been able to take a Thunderbolt. Um, I'll calculate it and I'll see because it was at 67% or something like that. But I'll calculate and see if a Life Orb Starmie's Thunderbolt does take out an Alomomola from 67%. Um, but yeah, I do like this set, and like I said, I know earlier I said I would like it to have, since it had Scald, I would like it to, um, have Recover and be a little more defensive, or, uh, not have Scald, but now I can see why it has Scald, um, for the chance to burn things, and also, if you ran a defensive set, it's the same thing as what I told you with the Haunch Crow, um, it has, they have the, the chance to recover and be at a higher range of HP for, um, for stalling you out, because that's what a lot of UU is now, is stall, and this team is very offensive, and that's why I like it. Um, so yeah, definitely wouldn't change anything on, li on this. I like it, Life Orb, I like um, offensive teams like this. Uh, we'll just move right on, because this is pretty much a basic um, Starmie. Choice Banded Victini. You guys saw the raw power Choice Banded Victini supplies with that Choice Banded Stab V-Create. Uh, destroyed that Umbreon. He thought he could live, kill him with a foul play, but that's not how this game works, son. <laughs> Um, definitely nothing I would change on this set. I honestly, I hate running Bolt Strike, uh, just because it does have that chance to miss. I know Victory Star only, what is, what is it? Uh, 1.1 1 .1 boost, so it's not like Compound Eyes where it's, uh, I think 1.3 boost. And then Bolt Strike I know is 85 accuracy, and it has, it has a 20% chance to paralyze. Never seen that chance happen, to be honest with you guys. But if you want, you can run Fusion Bolt, but you do miss out on that 30 power, on that 30 base power, so that probably would have been the difference between knocking out that Blastoise and uh, letting it live a little bit. So, that was definitely um, definitely something you should watch out for if you, do, if you don't like missing. Because, well, V-Crate has uh, 95 accuracy, but with the boost, it's 100%. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So, um, yeah, Choice Band of Victini, that's always a threat. And I, I'm going to have to go with MVP, <laughs> going to be Porygon Z, because one agility, and it just destroyed teams... Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the last game, which I'm pretty sure you did. It definitely plowed through that guy's team with one agility. And it doesn't even have max speed. Let's see. Uh, double that speed. We got um, 494. 494, is that, is that my math right? And 494 is a huge speed stat. And uh, it outspeed. I know. What is it? I'm pretty sure that goes up to. what? What is Deoxys speeds is uh, base 180. And I think it reaches 504. So that is that is 10 shy of a base 180 speed. And I know that um, base 180 speeds, well, De Deoxys speed outspeeds Scarf Chomp, and that's um, 102 um, plus half. But, you know, I'm doing a lot of math here, and I can't, you guys can't see all the, like, I'm doing the numbers in my head and, like, drawing it out with my fingers. But, yeah, what I'm saying is it outspeeds a huge amount of the UU tier. And after one uh, agility and one nasty plot, the game is over as you saw <laughs> one um one agility was all it took to destroy that last man's team and i'm pretty sure that i set up uh an agility and a nasty plot against or no i just set up the nasty plot against the guy that had the slow bro don't remember what game that was um but yeah this is definitely a huge threat and especially being modest uh look at that 405 base stat that is 
freaking ridiculous. That's that's um, what is that? That's five base points higher than uh, Megazard X. So, oh my lord, this thing's a threat. It's definitely definitely gonna be the MVP. I would I would honestly go try out this team. I'll leave the link down in the description. Don't know if I if I mentioned that, but yeah, I honestly would change nothing about this team uh, except for the heavy slam on Mega Agron. I don't know what else you could put on it. Uh, I don't know if it gets it gets. Iron Tail. I mean, I, I, it gets Flash Cannon, but Special Attack is like a, is is like negative. Let's just see if it gets anything. Iron Head. I would probably put Iron Head um, over it, maybe. Eh, I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't the fact that um, that I couldn't use it. It was the fact that it's it's hard to use it against a Fairy type, which is what it's there for. I honestly know. I know that I'm an idiot, but um, it's honestly hard to use it. So. Yeah, I would definitely go try this team out. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's some constructive criticism. If you guys want to try out this team, go in the description. Uh, I'll leave a, um, the whole team in there. You can just copy and paste it. And I'll, I'll show you really quick how to do it. You come here. You go to home. You go to team builder. And then, uh, well, I'm already in the team builder. You go all the way back. And then you go to import, export. Click that. And then it should be right here. Um, we'll just select all. And then you copy. We'll backspace. And then you paste it in. And then you hit save. And there it is. And it saves for you. And then uh, there you go. You got the team. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. I hit 40 minutes. But that was a, I feel like that was a good live. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Add me on Skype. Puddles A1 is named throughout all of that. Um, my FC will be in the description, too. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a great day. Have a great night. Peace, love, and later, Gators.